Hey there, Pisces! Welcome to Healing Dice Tarot. This is going to be your love reading for the second half of January 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do we got going on for Pisces? One ring circle. Okay. So there's something going on here where you're... You're the star of the show here. So whatever's going on, you are in charge. You have, um, you can do the impossible. Here you are. Look at this, the the elephant on top of this cliff, and you're gonna you're gonna take on everything. It's like um, sometimes maybe you are taking on too much, and you really should um let other people help you here. But you are the star of the show. You are gonna um rise above the rest. You're you're gonna be triumphant here. That's what I'm feeling with that. And at the bottom we have Moonlight. Yeah, I think you get a lot of inspiration on the Moonlight and it um it energizes you, it fires you up, um, it's magical. Where this is a, a six and this is six. We got fifty one and we have uh, fifteen. So I feel like um there's also like a a like family uh, feel to this. It feels like um even though both of these feel like you're alone, I think your um your spiritual family is really around you. Um, you're connected that way it, and I'm getting like a dragonfly here with this all these wings transformation and it looks like an owl in here so I think your um your your insight your intuition is really strong right now Pisces there's um especially under the moons it's just like it's it's empowering you you're enlightened you're um you're able to see things that other people cannot see. It's a connection that's um, beyond most. But under the moonlight, there's something that you can do in the moonlight. Um, or do your rituals in the moonlight. Or um, It just feels like it's very transforming for you guys. Okay. What else do we have here? Ah, the wind fairy. Thoughts, words, intellectual analysis. You are um, deep in thought. You are, your mind is going like in, in uh, 101 different directions. And again, I feel like the wings almost feels like a dragonfly here. I feel like there's just a, a strong transformation going on with you guys. That um, you are connected on such a deep level. That um, your thoughts are just... Um, Gonna, you're really going to be able to manifest because your thoughts are just coming into into play here and it's working on things, creative projects. So whatever you want to work on, it's very intricate. You can you can do it. You're very creative this time, and it's um you're very sensitive to things because like with a spider in the web, once an intruder or someone comes into the web and touches one of these webs, it sends a vibration that he knows that something's there so he goes running or she goes running over to the prey there. So there it feels like you're so connected to um each of these like a web like it's say say it's a spiritual web around you, right? And then anytime something comes into your field, you can feel it. The energy is very it's like um like the dragonfly are um super fast and they can move and dart this way, that way and go in any direction. You can too. Like with the spider, and like again, the strong feeling of a spider and the dragonfly for you guys is that um, you're very in tune and it's um, and you're like iridescent too. So, it's like with the iridescent wings, it's almost like you can be invisible. I'm feeling um, you could almost make yourself invisible. You could be there, and people, if you don't want people to see you, you can actually be hidden from their view and be right in front of them. Um, it just it feels like you are just very creative and very um, able to manifest at this time. That that's the energy that I'm feeling from you guys very strongly. Very magical, very spiritual. Wow. Okay, Pisces, let's see what's going on for you. Oh, okay. Okay, wow. We're starting out with the lovers. Well, that's pretty nice for a love reading here. So um, this could be Gemini energy. Um, yeah, so there's someone coming around. Or someone or you're involved with someone right now cross you okay so there's heartache with this relationship so you might be going through some pain with your current person um so let's see let's continue see what's going on 
and the moon. So there might be some hit. Let's see, the moon energy is coming up again for you. Pisces energy is your energy. So, yeah, so with the moon, if you're very much in your power, so if someone does, is doing anything wrong or deceiving you in any way, you're going to catch on to it because you are so connected. You're in your power here with the moonlight coming up and, and the moon. Yeah, they're not going to be able to get away with anything. And here, Eight of Cups. So if something's not working for you, you're going to leave it for something better. Yeah, and you're following that moon. You're following your intuition. You're following you. You're really following you. Whatever you need is going to be brought to your attention. You are so sensitive, so intuitive right now that you, you're just going to know. You're going to believe it deep in your soul what you need to do. And you're, and you're going to have to make a decision here. You're at a crossroads, but you are enlightened. You're, you're seeing the path because this is spiritual one. This is showing you the way. These birds are also spiritual communication. They're your guides. They're angels. They're showing you which way to go. So you're going to have to make a decision here. It might be with this lover. Okay. And we have a new journey. Someone new. Someone new could be coming to your life too. But this feels like you taking a new step. You, you're moving away from something here. That might have been satisfying, but it wasn't fulfilling you completely. So you're moving on to something better. Here we got the King of Swords. Now, this can be your energy, you know, wanting the truth and, and, and staying in your integrity and your intellect. Um, or it could be someone coming towards you. This is a, could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But you are definitely very strong in your, um, and you want the truth and you want the power, and you're standing your power, and you're going to cut out whatever doesn't serve you now. We have five of swords. Someone's trying to be sneaky. Um, someone might, or you might be trying to take away the swords from someone so they can't hurt you. You might be taking away their weapons. And it almost feels to me like for some, these weapons are actually words. They are trying to hurt you with their words. But you're not going to stand for it. You're going to cut them right out. You're not putting up with any of this. Let's see him. Wow, look at all the swords. So again, we have the Knight of Swords. So yeah, a really strong energy of an air sign coming towards you. So um, that could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So here with the Knight, they're coming, they're coming quickly. And they want to communicate. They want to talk. You're not trusting their words, though. You're not trusting what they have to say. Okay. But we have temperance. So things will balance out. This is Sagittarius energy. Things will balance out for you. You're going you're gonna to listen to them. And you're going to weigh the pros and cons here. In the bottom we have the world. So something might be coming back around, or some, but something is being completed. But it might be that you have to have something come back around even to put an end to it with, this, with the lovers, this person here whether you're with this person now or someone new coming in and you've been hurt by them, you're going to um, have to finish this. It's, it's like either, you know, get back together because it could be that it's coming back around for that or it could be to put an ending, you know, just to finish this so that you can move on. Wow. Okay, let's see. Let's clarify the lovers here. Clarify the lovers. Okay, that one wants to. Okay, yeah, broken heart. You, you know, you lost a lot with this person. They broke your heart. I mean, there's still a possibility for something to work. But do you want it to? It's up to you. You're the one who has to decide. I mean, this person's willing to give it a shot or, or they're willing to you know, work on it if you are already involved with this person. But you're going to have to decide. Okay, why is the Three of Swords here, please? Why is the Three of Swords here? Ah, Ace of Cups. Someone wants to offer their love. Someone really loves you a lot. They they feel that this can work. I don't know if you do. I don't think you really feel like this can work. Yeah, you're not you're not too sure about it. But someone is offering their cup of love to you, and you do have a chance of. I um, mean, you don't you don't have to take it. It's you know, you have the freedom of, of your will here. So whatever you want to do, it's freedom choice here. Okay. Huh. Queen of Swords, yeah. Now we have the King and Queen of Swords here. A lot of, lot of mental energy, a lot of um, communication coming in. It's like someone really wants to get to the truth. So now with the Moon, this this person is not gonna 
nothing's going to be hidden from this person. So, I mean, from you. So, it's, you're coming up as a queen of swords. So, you're going to cut them out if, um, if they don't come to you right. Yeah, if it's anything hidden or anything secret. You're not going to put up with, oh, there's the Knight of Pentacles. So, it could be a Taurus coming in or it could be a Capricorn or Virgo. But they're coming here to make this, or this was in the past. They came to make an offer. I think you may, you might have walked away from this offer. You know, well, I don't know if I want that. Or it could be that you left something to go towards this person. But I feel more like you're walking away from this offer. Whoa. Okay, so the card that came flying out there was the star. It came sideways. So this, I would say, is crossing you in this. So with this offer... You're standing in your power here. You you know your worth. You know um you know you're not gonna you're not gonna take you're not gonna settle for something. You want to make sure if this is right. But you're this is your energy. This could be Aquarius, but I feel this is your energy that's just saying, hey, you know, I know my worth. I'm not gonna take less. Okay. What is the two of wands here for? Yeah, you've been through the battle, so now you, you need to make a change. You need to move on. So you're gonna move on. You're gonna um I don't I don't think you're staying you're taking this person on. I don't think you want them back. It feels like you're moving on to something else. You see that you're getting guided that way. You've been through the battle, you made it through the battle, and you're not gonna go back in there. So it looks like I'm not going back in that. Okay. And why is the fool here, please? Yeah, you're moving on from this heartache. And I, I think whatever this is, I'm sorry to say, but it seems like no matter how much love they offer you, you're not trusting it. And you're moving on to something better. You're going to heal your heart by moving out, moving on to something else. King of Swords. Why is King of Swords here? Whoa, these cards really want to come up. Justice. Yeah, you want justice. This King of Swords is staying in power. This could be Libra energy. Because you want justice. You don't want to be putting up with anybody's crap. So whoever this person is, you know, you want balance. And you're going to get it. Okay, now why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? Yeah, because you're all set. You're all set by yourself. You're financially stable. You're happy by yourself. You're, you're doing okay. You know, you're doing quite well, actually. And, you know. You'll probably hear this person out, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like you really want to be with this person. Okay, Knight of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords, please. Yeah, and there's an ending here for someone wants a new beginning. Someone there's a transformation. I think you're transformed. I think you're changing from your old ways. That this person may want to come in, but you know what? You're like, I'm not the same person I was before. I transform. That person that you knew before. That person's long gone. I'm not, I put, you know, I let you walk all over me, but you're not going to do that again. Okay. And why is the temperance card here? Hmm. Yeah. You're waiting. You're hanging in there. You're waiting for something to balance out. You want everything to be even here. You're, the justice card, the, the temperance card, you want things to be balanced. Are you going to sell for anything else? King of Wands. Someone's very passionate about you, though. They're looking at you and they say, "I, you know, I really want Pisces." I don't think you want to give this person a, another shot, though. Okay, let's build some more cards. See what else is coming on besides this. There's some more information on Pisces. What else they got going on? Yeah, four wands. You want happiness. You want to, you know, have a happy family life, and that's coming in for you. I don't think it's with this person. It must be with someone new. But you're going to have happiness. It's coming in. Yep, you're walking away from that pain. That's the, you know, you got hurt way too many times. 
You've been through the battle here. You know, you're walking away from this now. You're not going to have to worry about their swords, their words, or their trick as they say nasty things and cut you down. Saying they love you, but then at the same time cut you down. No, you're not putting up with it. You're in your power. You don't need this. Okay, what else do we have here for Pisces? Oh, there's a, quite a few here. All right. That's too many. If you want to come out again, they will. Yeah, tower. So things going to happen. Something's going to change. Something's going to come down. I think you're going to get a shocking news. Um, the truth's going to come out. It's going to shock you. And that's going to probably help you make your decision. What else is here? Yeah, you get people trying to interfere here. So you have to make another card of decision here. So you have to make a decision. You got the blindfold on, and, you, and you're not listening to these people who are trying to interfere. Because they're pulling your hair. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get your attention. Yeah, there's too much pain here. Here we got this um, three of swords. You don't listen to this cause you pain. What else do we have here for Pisces? Yeah, you have strength of the Leo card. You have your you have the strength to walk away from this connection, even if you feel like get, you're getting tugged there, and maybe you get a little weak moment. I don't think you're gonna fall for it. I think you're walking away because you're gonna get your your four of wands here. Change is coming in for you, and besides, you're being so creative. You're so you're so in tune that you there's no way that you could fall for something that's not right. You're too connected. Yeah, you're building something, you're nurturing something. Something is growing here. Um. You put a lot of work into this. You're waiting for things to change because you all things that you got all things you're working on. Yeah, death death and rebirth. So here this is you transforming this whole thing. You're not, you know, you're not putting up with any of this stuff. You're you're different, you know, you're not the same person. Things are changing. Yep, and love is coming in for you. I think this is a different love. So we have Ace of Cups here, and we have the Ace of Cups here. So there's definitely new love coming in for you. And I think you're saying goodbye to, oh, yep, you're, you're leaving this behind. You're saying, nope, I'm waiting for this new person to come in. I, I'm not dealing with you. So, nope, nope, nope. And also, we got some Pisces. Yep, you're going, this is this is your energy here, this Nine of Wands. I mean, it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I really feel like this is your energy starting something new. You're so connected. Um, I think you get, like, this to me reminds me of, like, drumming to um, bring in that energy that just enlightens you and brings in this spiritual connection for you. The drums, I think, are really, uh, can motivate you, can really get you into your power. And it's weird because he, she's banging this drum, which has like fire coming out of it. And then she has the four of wands just like here. This is going to bring you your happiness. There's four of wands. There's four of wands. That's bringing that in for you. I think, um, and here is like, I don't know if that's a stallion or what it is, you know, but it's like being wild and free. You don't need to be tied down to this energy because I don't think energy was good for you. I don't know what this person was. It was not good. What else do we have here for Pisces? Your nine cups. You're getting your nine cups. Once you walk away from this and only put this to rest, I think, you know, you're going to be really happy. You just got to, you know, you're really in tune to everything. Now you really can pick up on this person. They're, they're giving you, um, telling you something that's not true. You're going to pick up on it right away. Ace of Pentacles. Yes, you're coming. Your finance is good. New beginnings, new... Maybe new business, new career, something new coming in. You're doing very well. And I mean, you're gonna miss this person or miss uh, something about them, uh, but you're you're knowing that you're just filling this out because it's not it's not good for you. It's just going into this like void here. You know, it's like you'll you'll be fine. 
because there's new loads coming in. Okay, yeah, and here's here we got the page of one, so you know, they're very happy, very content, feeling free. You feel free after you after you close off this relationship, after you just always close the door on it. You're gonna feel good. Okay, what else do we have? Pisces. Yeah. See, see, you're hanging here. This this is your energy too. You're hanging here, but you're enlightened. You are so enlightened that you're feeling so carefree that you can hang here. You're not worried about falling. You know that's that, that spirit has your back. And here we have six cups. Yeah, so there's some might be someone from the past coming in or or something after you end this relationship here. Or it could just be someone that is a soulmate connection. It doesn't have to be that you met them yet in this lifetime. It could be a past life. But well, look how, how these feathers are getting all electrified from the energy. Wow. Yeah, so this is um it's really nice. I mean, you just have to I mean this is not gonna resonate with everyone, so don't just, you know, think it's for you. It might not be for you. Maybe some of it's for you, but there's someone that has to, a few people I think that has to walk away. I mean, you kept on getting this um three times you got the the three of swords that they were really hurt by this person. It could have been a third party um that was going on with them. They and so you know you're walking away from this. It's all good. So let me throw a romance angel to close this off. And um yeah once you um once you close the chapter on this book then you can start a new chapter. Okay, let's see. What do we have for Pisces? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, disconnect. And if this new person comes in, go take a little mini vacation or or just go by yourself someplace. Go to a spa. Do something. It doesn't have to be with someone else. And the bottom we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Yes. For that relationship right there, it's it's done. It's over. Um, you know, move on so that you can get on with your life and get all these wonderful new beginnings with this new person. Well, Pisces, I hope you liked your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.